Will bringing up baby actually help your kids sleep through the night and help them be independent? We'll share our experience. We've been doing this for 10 months, so mm -hmm. what do we know? We know 10 months worth. We hope it can help you out. Mm -hmm. Coming up. I'm Kuejo. I'm Jamie. And we are Learning Mandarin is where we share about raising our baby in China, learning Mandarin, and skyrocketing our savings. Does the book We Are Raising Bebe live up to the hype? This is our 10-month check-in. We put a link in the descriptions below. Check out the book reviews on Amazon and see what other people think too. So the book talks about the pause and sleeping through the night. How mm -hmm. did we do? I think overall we did pretty well. She is mostly sleeping through the night now. <laughs> mostly. <laughs> she had a phase of probably a few months where she slept through yeah. the night. Now sometimes it's hit or miss. Sometimes she'll get up, but only once, change her, nurse her for a few minutes, and then she goes right back to sleep. So as a new parent who knew nothing, I was intrigued by this whole pause concept that your baby cries in the middle of the night and you don't have to run in because you want to. And that's the thing. The book mm -hmm. talks about waiting two minutes to see what your baby is crying about. And honestly, that was hard. I'm like, I, I put on the timer. I'm like, yeah. okay, Jamie, don't run in there. Yeah. And we're just, okay, she's <laughs> crying. Now we're gonna wait for two minutes. And it worked. She yeah. would go back to sleep on her own. And I'm like, thank God, because you know, my concerned dad heart wanted to run into her room right away and see what's going on. Right. And the book says that what that would have done is cause Elena Faith not to learn how to sleep on her own. The book talks about how babies sleep in cycles mm. and they wake up in little fits and it's normal for them to cry. And really, yeah. I'm glad I had that book. Otherwise she would have depended on us and started waking up and then we'd have to go in and take care of her and right yeah actually that happened just now we were about to record she right. started crying just a little bit she's taking a nap right now <laughs> had i rushed in as soon as i heard her crying she wouldn't have gone back to sleep like she is right now and so i waited a few minutes just to see if she was gonna keep crying or if she was just kind of waking up in between sleep cycles and self-soothing and then going back into the to the next sleep cycle and so here she is sleeping so that we have a few minutes to actually even record this video. I mean, with the pause work all the time, it's a good guideline. Obviously, it didn't work every night, but in general, it worked pretty well. No kid no food. No kid food. I so, like this one. Mm, Coming from yeah. an exercise science and wellness background, I went to a super hippie school and all in about Seattle. <laughs> in Seattle with a vegetarian cafeteria, yeah. way into nutrition and health food and stuff. So I really like this part about starting them with flavorful, real food. It's worked so far so good. Yeah, yeah I'd say she so. She likes all kinds of vegetables and fruit. She eats everything. The one time I actually did give her brown rice yeah. just to see. And she just made the most horrible things yes. <laughs> and didn't like it. And so we're back to just veggies and protein and fruit and she's doing really well. I don't know as much as she does about <clears throat> all this health and wellness, but I kind of pride myself in knowing that my kid does have a wider palate and is okay mm -hmm. with vegetables and fruit, it's pretty cool. Yeah. And the book talks about how French kids can eat off the adult menu from a small age and they don't only eat tater tots or only cereal or right. only little fish crackers. And that's what appealed to me. Yeah, we kind of wanted to have Good a... Good job. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> we kind of wanted to have a paleo baby. We eat mostly paleo style yeah, guess, still and yeah. she just eats what we eat and if right. she doesn't try these other things she doesn't know any better. She's yeah. a baby, right? Kids menus, what are those? In France they don't really have kids menus and to be honest most of the things that are on a kids mm. menu in the States and maybe some other places, a kid probably shouldn't be eating that anyway. So I think it's best to just give them a little bit of veggies off of your plate and the, especially in the States the portion sizes are so big anyway, you probably don't need to eat all We of live that. in China. I don't know if we said that. You may not have actually been to our channel. Oh, We've lived right. in China since we got married in 2009, which is about nine We're years going ago. going on eight years ago. Okay, going on eight years in China. Um, <laughs> and we have a 10-month-old. So we have not taken her out to restaurants, but what we noticed yeah. was that kids get fussy in restaurants and they don't mm. want to eat anything. So when the book Bringing Up Bebe said, do these kind of things and your kids could be like French kids and have a developed palate and eat off the adult menu and not be so picky, I was like, I'm in. Yeah, and, yeah. Um, totally so far, appealed. So, good. so the book Bringing Up mm. Bebe talks about how French kids don't throw fits at stores or when they don't get what they want at your house or like you're on a phone call and French kids aren't like, mommy, daddy, mommy, daddy, mommy, daddy. 
I have to have you do something for me right now. Mm -hmm. uh, apparently their parents, as a culture, can tell their kids to wait, and their mm -hmm. kids actually wait, and play by themselves, and can amuse themselves, and so, again, this is our first child, mm -hmm. and I'm just thinking, I don't want to have to be out in the store in public and have my kid throw a fit. Like, I kind of like Who wants to be that parent, right? <laughs> yeah, nobody does. And so, if a book's telling me yeah. I can do things to raise my daughter so that she's not so spoiled or doesn't throw a fit when she doesn't mm -hmm. get what she wants, she can handle frustration, which is mm -hmm. what bringing up Bebe talks about, then I thought I want to try. And so far, I'd say it works. I mean, she's a baby. She cries. Mm -hmm. But number one, other parents have kind of marveled at how we don't have to be in the same room as her and mm -hmm. she can play by herself. She does of course have those moments where she's For a little sure. more clingy or going through a developmental leap and she wants to be closer to mom. Of course that's natural and going to happen but at the same time she can play by herself learning that independence, learning patience, I think is really important for kids. Yeah. It's important for you too <laughs> to have that moment where you can go to the bathroom yeah. or you can do something and yeah. leave them for a few and they're okay. Keep in mind this is also age appropriate. So we're not expecting our 10 month old to be able to wait for 20 minutes, minutes yeah. or 30 minutes right. or something. I mean, sometimes it's just letting them cry for maybe just a couple minutes or 30 seconds. Don't expect, you know, your two-year-old to be able to wait for 20 minutes. But giving them those few moments to let them distract themselves is really, really important. We liked that idea in this book. It gave us hope. Mm. Yes. <laughs> so that's it. The three big things, at least what we remember from the book, would be developed palate, able to eat anything, mm -hmm. the, the pause, which helps us see why our baby's crying and helps her to sleep through the night and teaching patience. Yeah. We put a link mm -hmm. down in the descriptions. Check that out, read the reviews on Amazon and see what people say, but we've had a good time with this book. Question of the day, how much independence should you let your child have? Let us know in the comments below, what do you think? Again, I'm Kuejo. <laughs> I'm Jamie. We're living in China, raising our daughter Elena Faith. This is We Are Learning Mandarin. Hope you enjoy the book mm -hmm. review. Good luck with your kids. Get in touch on the comments. Bye. Bye. <laughs>